First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the hopeful elect. So I want to do a lesson on this on this guy here, this basketball player, this college basketball player. And just and just on how, you know, things are just getting worse and worse. And we really, truly need a savior, man. And it just, it, it really helps me feel better about myself alongside with the brotherhood, the true brother and the sincere brother. And I truly believe and that's uh, um, doing the works of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You know, uh, it, it, it makes me feel better for us that. That we're the ones sighing and crying for these things. We're the ones looking for the true Savior, right? Which is Yahweh Shai. And we're the ones that are just not okay with this place, man. Everybody else, they're going about their own way. They're scattered sheep. They're doing their own thing. They got their own vain opinions. But then you have that small elect few, that small remnant, whose ways are as of the ways of the Lord, man. Who lean? They don't lean towards their own understanding. They revert every single thing back to the scriptures. You know, they, they teach the scriptures and live the scriptures. And, and they're vexed. They're vexed with the wickedness of this place, man. And, and and they can see it getting worse and worse and worse as time goes on. And this is just another case, man. This is another case right here. It says Duke star Jared McCain claps back at grown men trolling him for painting his nails. And this guy... I think he's teammates with uh, LeBron James' son, and uh, I think I saw have I think I saw a video. I'm not even gonna look it up, you know. But um, I think I did. I seen a video of them. They was dancing together or something like that. So you got a lot of people that tells you that what a lot of people's okay okay with it. So it says we sat down with Duke basketball star guard TikTok celebrity Jared McKean about the hate he gets from painting his nails. The upcoming Duke season. His NBA future and more, right? So here's his, here's the guy here, man. Now, first and foremost, right off the bat, let me get a scripture. In the law. So I can bear with me. Here it is right here, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. Okay, so a woman shouldn't be dressing like a man does, and a man shouldn't be dressing like a woman does. Okay, because that's an abomination. Now... Nail polish is or in a an effeminate thing, okay? That's more so for women. Just as how um let me see here. Uh Jeremiah chapter four verse thirty, right? It says and when and when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Though thou clothest thy silk with crimson Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life. For I have heard a voice as of woman in travail, in the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion that bewaileth herself, that spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now for my soul is weary because of murderers okay when you get into rentest thy face with painting but ultimately you can see that what it's going into uh, uh, ultimately makeup you know eye co uh, cosmetics showing you that what this is a feminine a feminine thing the makeup the painting the nails 
all right, and so forth pertains unto women. So if you know a man, a man doing that, ultimately it's like you're putting on a woman's gar garment, woman's clothing, woman's apparel. You know, matter of fact, let me just get into garment real quick. From the Hebrew word shamala. Okay, wrapper, mantle, covering, garment, garments, cloth, raiment, a cloth, perhaps by permutation for the feminine. Okay, let's get into this word. Permutation. It says, a way, especially one of several possible variations in which a set or a number of things can be ordered or arranged. The action of changing the arrangement, especially the linear order of a set of items. See, changing the arrangement of things, the order of things. Okay. The term permutation recur refers to the mathematical calculation of the number of ways a particular set can be arranged. So, you know, you're changing the arrangement of things. As a matter of fact, when we get into arrangement, let's get into arrangement real quick. The action, process, or result of arranging or being arranged. Okay, so as we can see, the, the presentation, positioning, all right, order. All right, grouping, all these things pertain, all right, to uh, uh, being feminine. Right, so once again, the makeup, painting your nails and stuff like that, that pertains to uh, femin femininity. All right, which goes what ultimately woman's garment, the woman's apparel. So you literally doing that, you are an abomination unto the Lord. Okay, you're a fucking abomination to the Lord, man. Oh, but you but you cussing though. Well, take 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 out five minutes outside of your day. And look up what cursing means. Bible dictionary of curse. Not curse according to America's standards and definitions, but according to the Bible definition. And you might be and you might be in for a treat, man. You may you may you may be surprised what comes up, man. Then you'll realize, wow. No, we're not so called cursing. So let's get into a little bit. Some people know. Jerry McCain, matter of fact, who gives a sh who gives a crap, right? I'm reading nothing. I mean, and, and, all right, so like so let's get to what he says. He says, uh, with a large platform of over nearly 3 million followers across all platforms, McCain has encountered his share of trolls. Right, yeah. Yeah, where are the trolls? Yeah, where are the trolls? But yeah, you're the one that's, that's looked at as an abomination to the Lord. But we're the trolls. It says during quarantine, he picked up a hobby of painting his nails, and when he's flashed it on social media, he's been met with H from trolls. Yeah, right. We're the trolls, right? It says I like to get. But see, this is see this this is let me get another scripture. You're gonna get all the support in the world, buddy. You're gonna get all the support in the world from these E's, man. These uh, so-called W people. You're gonna get all the support in the world from them. All right, because they're the wicked. So they love to see you do wicked things, man. But guess what? The scriptures say, let, let no man be deceived by any means. So this is Ecclesiastes or the book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 25. The parables of knowledge are in the treasures of wisdom, but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. See that? So godliness is an abomination to to a sinner which is why they look at us like we're wicked we're vile we're disgusting we're trolls we're evil 
right? But that's because they're the wicked. And we, they represent the wicked. We represent the godly, man. Okay, how can you tell? Because our mindset, our philosophy, the way we think, the way we operate is scriptural based. Through and through, 100%. No twisting, no uh, um, incorrectness, but through and through. Their philosophies, the way they base everything off of their understanding, their opinions is based off of what? Their own goddamn heart. It's backed by nothing but their own mind and their own heart. And we know that the scriptures say that what? The heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? So you get a, a, a intrusive, you, get, you got something called intrusive thoughts, which are like demons. Intrusive thoughts. That'll be a thought that, you, you know, you jump down this whole flight of stairs, you know? You see the stairs, jump down this whole flight of stairs. Or you walk in past him like, yo, smack him upside his head. See, those are intrusive thoughts or demons that, that, that plague our mind here. So, to, to counteract that, we say, hey, hey, this guy got a damn demon on him. Paint your nails. That's going to look so dope. Paint your nails, bro. That's going to look so dope, man. That's a, that's what you call an intrusive thought. And when you're not backed by the scriptures, you don't have righteousness of the Lord to uh, rebuke that spirit, to know what's right and wrong. See, this is why if you if you get a damn intrusive thought, which is like a demon, you get a thought in your head, des this mind is desperately wicked, yo, paint your nails, paint your nails, bro, that should be so dope, ain't nobody on that, you're gonna be a trendsetter, bro, we what, we revert back to the scriptures, a man shall not wear a woman's garment, okay, which is just having woman's apparel, makeup as well, right, we all know makeup is, is, for, is for women too, right? So a man ain't going to wear no makeup either. A man's not even supposed to have long hair. Long hair is what? A woman's apparel. A woman's appearance. The appearance of a woman. Not just the garment itself. So long hair, paint your nails, makeup. All these things pertain unto uh, femininity, man. Which not supposed to pertain unto men. So we have the scriptures to rebuke that. So let's get get get, get into it. It says, uh, uh, I like to get my manicures and pedicures. I take care of my body. McCain says, some of these people hate. I don't know if they do take care of their body. The hate is funny because it's usually grown men most of the time. And it's like you're a grown man just hating on a kid. And see, you ain't no kid, nigga. Excuse my friend, you ain't no kid. You ass ain't no kid, bro. You, you know, you you ain't no uh, 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 damn kid. It's a lot of kid, man. You ass in college already, nigga, like 6'3". Come on, man. Look at you talking about you a kid. You a kid? Come on, bro. Stop. Stop. Your ass is a grown man, too. See? And... You know, it, it would behoove you to listen to those grown men. All right. Trying to get you all, all, all on the right path. So let me just get that scripture I quoted and then I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. But uh, we see we see shit is getting worse here. As a matter of fact, let me get let me get. Uh, Second Peter two and, and seven says to the point, of course, you can start up. It says, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. See? And the filthy conversation, meaning what? Their actions. The way they conduct they conduct themselves. All right? Lot was vexed, was vexed with what they had seen going on. Why? Because they were doing things pertaining unto uh, 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 being sodomites, man. Or Sodom and Gomorrah. They probably had cross dresses. Well, definitely cross dress. All, all of that, man. And Lot was vexed by that crap. And, and guess what? Because he was vexed, he was delivered from it. See, verse 8. For that righteous man dwelling among them 
and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. See, so what you're doing is vexing. You talking about you getting uh, hate from grown men? No, what you're doing is very vexing and is vile and is evil and is wicked. And you see the uh, 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 the older men from before us had more uh, uh, was less wicked than today. All right, they were less wicked than today, man. The women were less wicked, but as time goes on and on, you get worse and worse. So that's why you're receiving that slack, man, because they had a sense of uh, 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 righteousness, man, back then. But as time and time goes on, righteousness fades and fades and fades, man. See, and this this is and here it is, this thing like like six three NBA ball player, you know, tip top shape. And pretty much a damn mull. Okay, we need deliverance out of here, man. So, well, let's find with that. I'm going to say Shalom.